Hello, children. Let me tell a beautiful story of a hound and a rooster. A hound and a rooster were friends in a village. They wanted to see around the world one day, so they decided to go to every town. It was getting dark to walk through the forest to go to the neighboring town, so they decided to stay there for the night. They were searching for a good place to protect themselves from wild animals while sleeping. Then a big tree caught their eyes, and the branch of that tree was safe for the rooster. At the same time, there was a hole behind the tree, which was safe for the dog. The dog was sleeping in the hole, and the rooster was sleeping on a branch of the tree. In the morning, when the rooster woke up from his sleep, he thought he was in the village and crowed. On hearing that, a fox who is roaming in the forest, expecting a great meal. When he saw the rooster on the tree, he said, Hey rooster, I welcome you to our forest. He told the rooster that your arrival was a good thing and continued to say that you could come down and maybe we could be friends. When he heard that, the rooster warned himself and thought that he should teach the flattering fox a proper lesson. So, he said, I can't come down immediately, but there is the easiest way to come up, and it is behind the tree. After hearing that the fox went back to the tree, the hound, who was listening to all the talk in silence, he beat the fox and made him run away. The rooster and the hound knew that, if they were clever, they could avoid all the dangers that come towards them. One by one, they went to all the cities and towns and were living happily. Moral of the story, do not trust flatterers. Now let's listen to another amazing story. A rooster lived in a house in a garden. He used to search for food in the garden every day. And while he was eating, one day he saw that his master's gold earrings was lying on the floor. Immediately, he took it and went to give it to his master. By seeing that, the next door cat said, This is an expensive item. Whoever you give it to will give you a lot of gold and other things. To which the rooster said, Domestic animals like you and me are the same. A cashew nut and this golden earring are same for us. We cannot even buy a handful of rice with this, but we can only be proud of having this. So, we should be honest with our masters, who give us food every day, and he took it to the master. In the happiness of getting her earrings back, he gave the rooster a lot to eat and a small house to sleep in. Moral of the story, honesty, is priceless. Let's listen to one more story. There was a farmer in a village. He raised a donkey to carry his packs. To go to the neighboring village, the farmer traveled with a donkey through the neighboring mountain path. As there was a lot of luggage on the donkey, the farmer tied a rope around the donkey's neck to secure it and walked away. But that stupid donkey is working so hard, and he is upset that he is pulling a rope around his neck. The donkey decided not to be loyal to him anymore, and began to bray. The donkey immediately tried to run away, but the farmer got hold of the rope because it was climbing the mountain. He thought that the farmer was trying to hold his own rope, and he quickly pulled himself to the side of the ditch. The farmer felt sorry for his foolishness with his donkey and let go of the rope. Thinking that everything happening was against him, the donkey fell down the pit. Moral of the story, all the happenings should be viewed with a good perspective. <laughs>